so this is a A4 printout of the image um, we're going to use the label for the mead um, Pauline is going to um, convert this image into um, a lino cut and from the lino cut we'll get hand prints so it's going to be a hand printed label for the mead so um, shortly she'll be looking at this and trying to um, work out what she needs to do to carve this this image out onto lino four inches so it'll be 12 we'd need It's a pity we weren't taught Imperial as well as metric at school. It's probably three eighths, I suspect. Mm, so you definitely want the card to be white. That is well, well it doesn't necessarily have to be white, does it? I mean, there's a mm. whole spectrum of colours of cards you could get, or thick mm. paper. Yes, I, I mean, I've I've got black sugar paper. But we, we can um, give that a try, see what effect we get. Where all you need to do is put on the white in the middle ground. Uh -huh, yeah. On top of that. Uh -huh. Right, so you might need double checking. I've just what had a knock. Yeah, I've just had a knock at the door, and parcel force have turned up with four parcels. And. There's all the. Um, brewing or fermentation equipment ready to be opened. Okay, this is a, a pot for putting the ingredients in to make the the, the mash. So the the honey and the water will be going into there, and I'll have to heat it up. Anyway, um, nice nice pot for the, the making the mash in. Unfortunately, the lid doesn't go on properly. It's unreal. <laughs> okay. A draining rack for bottles. Jemmy John's, sorry, not Jemmy John's. The airlocks and bungs. Oh, yeah, we need some yeast. Okay. That's probably the hydrometer. Very important. Siphon. Paddle fester the mask. Bottle brushes. I think that's glass bottles. Okay, so here's the fermenters. There we go, that contains or can contain up to about 25 litres of. alcohol and it needs two of them um, so when I do racking I have something to put them in or put the liquid in 
There we go, there's the other one. 